In front of a global audience, NASA unveiled the first pictures taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, ushering in a new phase in cosmic research. JWST will orbit the Sun at a distance roughly 1 million miles beyond Earth's orbit, as opposed to orbiting Earth like its forerunner, the Hubble Space Telescope. The 30-year-old Space Telescope was launched in December 2021 and reached its final location in January. JWST pointed its 21-foot mirror toward the heavens after a protracted unfolding operation. Today, we witness its initial findings. SMAC 0723, Webb's first deep field of the galaxy cluster. This image shows a small speck of space the size of a grain of sand held out at arm's length, teeming with millions of galaxies, including the weakest objects yet detected in infrared light. The galaxy cluster, SMAC 0723, is depicted in the image, which was captured by JWST's near-infrared camera, an AR cam. The cluster is bending and warping light from the galaxies behind it, including some far-off red galaxies older than 13 billion years, by acting as a gravitational lens. The Carina Nebula's Cosmic Cliffs The cosmic cliffs in the Carina Nebula are a vast panorama of cosmic mountains and valleys where the bubbles, cavities, and jets of young stars are made visible through the dust in a way that was not possible when the Hubble Space Telescope studied this region of active star formation. The dust cloud's deeper regions include the youngest stars, which are visible as reddish spots, other stars are producing protostellar jets that are typical of early star formation. This picture demonstrates the complex interplay of forces during star formation. The highest peaks reach astonishing heights of seven light years. The extreme UV radiation and stellar winds from neighboring hot, young stars have slowly corroded them, 